Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where of course every day is a train show. We got some new things that are hopefully going to find their way in your layout. And you know what? It's the fall season, so I want to talk about some of the favorite things we like to do here on Yankee Dabbler in the fall. For example, you can always see the leaves change colors, or what I like to do, I like to see color changes on PS flat cars. Check out these bulkhead flat cars from Walther's. And these are really nice looking flat cars here. If you need a bulkhead flat car to go on your layout, these might be the ones that you will consider. I think they look great. They roll great. Anytime you can have a high quality product that performs well on your layout, that's always a winner in my opinion. So think about the various different types of loads that you can put on this. And the neat thing about this is I have multiple different row numbers for each one of these. So if I want to create a nice long bulkhead flat car train, I'm in great shape. As you can see, I have multiple different colors. So you know me, more colors the better. So these cars retail for $29.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $25.48. Good to get, to get on these cars. Get one, two, ten, or thirty-five of them pulling on your layout. I think you really gotta enjoy them. All aboard. So another fall activity a lot of people like to do is go on a hay ride. But here at Yankee Dabbler, we like to go on hopper rides, like these covered hoppers that we have here from Scale Trains. Check out these end scale bad boys right here. I got the Kansas City Southern leading it off with the Union Pacific. I got a whole bunch of them, and I got to go over the names. You can see them there. But some of my personal favorites are actually the multitude of Burlington Northern Santa Fe's, including this one with the Santa Fe logo on there. And this one is my personal favorite here. We got the Great Northern coming up there. I just love that logo there. And, of course, the GATX. Now, these are just fantastic-looking cars here, but they are incredibly highly detailed. I'm going to take this Kansas City Southern here, as you can see. I have the separately applied detail in there with the etched walkways. Got metal wheels, of course, on the bottom there. Even the hose tips have the little metal part at the end painted there. I mean, there's a lot of detailing happening here. And truthfully, these are some of the best N-scale rolling stock cars I've seen in a very long time here. Now, once again, I have multiple different numbers for these cars, so you can make a really nice, long, covered hopper train here. These cars retail for $40.99, but we're selling them for $32.99. Scale Train makes a fantastic product. I really like these cars here, and if you're an end scaler modeling something in the modern era, and you want to get a whole bunch of different variety, I like don't think you need to look any further because these cars are really good. So come into Yankee Dabbler and get them. But you know what? You're probably thinking, well, you know what? These are really nice hopper cars, but I'm an HO guy. Well, get this. Bam. Oh, yeah. We got them in HO, too. Let's check out some of these over here. Some of them are repeats. Some of them are a little bit different. And once again, you get the same high-quality item here from Scale Trains, from N-Scale, that you do for HL. And these cars are this great. I love the uh, covered hoppers here. Some of these great road names here. Let's check this out. We got a Burlington Root. They got some neat one there in Northern Pacific. I mean, these are just great cars here. Once again, separately applied detailing, etch walkways. I mean, you really can't go wrong with these cars here. Now, these cars retail, the HO versions are $55.99, but we're selling them for $47.99. Once again, I got a whole bunch of different road numbers. So if you want to get a nice long cover hopper train, here you go. Come and get it, the Yankee Dabbler, while supplies last. So a lot of people really like to bake things around the fall, like pumpkin pies. So I have some pumpkin pie scented smoke fluid see and i gotta put it in this brand new line now legacy 280 consolidation this is the number 960 new york central consolidation from line now this is a legacy engine here and it is a gorgeous one at that now, Lionel has done a lot with the small steams in uh, in recent history here, and they are doing well here, but there is just a tremendous amount of detail in there. I like the separately applied cold load here. This one has smoke. It has the whistle smart. Class of, uh, classification light, marker lights here, and of course it has that legacy sound system. This is a fantastic looking locomotive, and you're an O-scaler, and you're looking for an engine that's either going to pull light duty or heavy long freight trains, this one will definitely be an option for you. Now, of course, you know what I like to do on the show is I like to play with trains, so we're going to hear what this bad boy sounds like, so all aboard. Now, there's multiple different ways that you can uh, control this engine here. I'm going to be using the legacy system here. However, if you do have the uh, Lionel app on your phone, that can also run it too. But let's check it out. All aboard. 
Now, one of the neat features that Lionel just started to do is this uh, five whistles and five different bells. As you can see, it's already starting to smoke. Here's whistle number one. Whistle number two. Whistle number three. Four. And finally five. And of course the bells are also different as well. So that's really cool. There's a whole bunch of different sound effects here. Let's go through a couple of them. Better that fire while we're waiting. Gonna be a hard pull ahead. Train orders say holding the siding until 44 clears, then we can take the main. He should be through any minute. Dispatcher, ready to roll. Can I pull? Over. Sit tight for a minute. We've got some traffic to clear first. Out. So the lighting features that are also on this engine too is I could change the different uh, lights on the engine. For example, if I want these lights to turn white, here we go. Or I could just turn them off if I want. Now let's uh, get her going, shall we? Dispatcher, error is made, brake test complete. Are we clear to pull? Over. Clear to proceed east from where you stand to track speed. Out. <laughs> This is a good smoker too. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but it does have the whistle steam effect, so there is smoke coming out of the whistle. Couplers. I'm gonna open that back coupler there. Now let's get pulling a freight train while we're here. Got my Yankee Dabbler cars. All right, all aboard, shall we? Arriving on track number one, train number 960. Smokey. <laughs> that is a fun one there. There's a lot of play value. There's a lot of different features that this engine does. And for a Lina Legacy piece, it's actually very affordable. And those of you who follow Lina know exactly what I'm talking about. Because the retail value for this engine is $749.99. However, we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $699.99. And keep in mind that this was a built-to-order engine. So unless you ordered this engine when the catalog came out, you're not getting it unless you find it at a retail store like us that got some to sell. So hurry up the Yankee Dabbler to get this engine running on your layout today, especially if you're a New York Central fan, or especially if you're a no-gager, I know you're really going to enjoy it.
So another fall tip we like to do, I know a lot of people like to go pumpkin picking, well I like to go engine picking with these GP40-2s from Atheron. I have a couple of really nice looking engines here. I love the look of that chassis system there. That is a great looking engine. And of course I have a CSX takeover of a chassis engine. And that is a really neat one too. I also have a CNO upstairs. I have a Ferromex that's right there. That one looks really cool here. And then I have some GP42s. L's and these are a little bit different with the Y cap there. I got the Indiana Harbor Belt and I have the Canadian National. Now these diesel locomotives are Atheron engines and they look fantastic. And if I wanted to take a look just at this chassis system on real close up here, because I love the detailing that goes into these engines here. Atheron does a great job to make these things look fantastic. And I love just the, all the amazing parts that are going into here. This truly, as Engineer Hall likes to say, is a work of art. And if you have a look onto the side, you see the little bell there happening here. Up there, you see the different vents that are happening here. I mean, if you're a fan of the GP40s, I mean, this is definitely an engine that you need to have on your layout. And I think this is just a fantastic good engine. But I'm gushing over it too much. We're going to start running it and see what it sounds like. All right, we're going to run that chassis system GP40-2. All aboard. That is a great sounding sequence here. As you notice, they even have some flashing lights that are happening up there. Let's hear what the bell sounds like. The horn. Nice. And I'll tell you what, to be honest with you, I could listen to this idle sound for a while. All aboard. Hey, while I'm here, I may as well pick up some bulkhead flaggers. All aboard. These engines retail for $319.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $271.99. I think these are awesome diesel locomotives. Everyone needs a GP40 running on their rails. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get those engines rolling today. So let's do a little recap gone. of all of the items that we took a look at on today's show. We had here from Lino, we had this consolidation New York Central engine that looks great and it sounds great and it even smells great if you put that punk and smoke fluid in it. We have from Walther's these bulkhead flat cars. We have from Athern these GP40 dash twos and the gp 40-2 l's we have from scale trains the n scale covered hoppers and we also had them in ho as well and we still have our exclusive one-on-one engineer hall box car uh that has not sold yet so we're going to lower the price from 999 dollars to 998 dollars so discount we'll see what happens but of course, none of this is uh, fitting your interest. What you can do is you go on our website, yankeedabbler.com, type in the search bar what you're looking for. If we have it, we're going to get it shipped to your house as soon as possible so it can be operating on your layout in no time. If you haven't already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the latest and greatest things. You know, I always talk about all the latest and greatest things that are going to happen. It's going to happen one day. All those things I said, you know, I'm not making it up. It's going to happen. One day you're going to see like 85 videos pop up, right, Engineer Hall?
Yeah. Yeah. All right. So stay tuned for that one. All right. We're going to conclude this week's video with a rail fan video going back to the Strasbourg Railroad. But we're going to take a look at that very useful engine. Number one, of course, we all know who we're talking about. Thomas the Tank Engine. This one's for the kids. But of course, I think we all kind of like Thomas in our heart. A lot of us grew up with Thomas. So enjoy seeing Thomas the Tank Engine going through the Lancaster countryside. Well, if you excuse me, I gotta get ready for uh, a pumpkin carving contest. You know, everyone made nice pumpkin decorations, whatever. For me, I just brought a Burlington Northern Santa Fe diesel. That's my pumpkin, so I hope I win. Uh, but on the way there, I gotta get Christian from the uh, corn maze. He's been there for about uh, four days. So, uh, yeah, he's gotta smell. All right, take care, everyone. Enjoy the fall season and get some trains. I gotta win that contest. <laughs>